everyone, how you're doing? It's Michelle here. Um, just thought I'd jump on quick. Um, had a quite a busy day. We took Ryan, I say we, Jack, Jack drove my car. I wouldn't, well, I wouldn't drive down no way into airport. My good God, no way. <coughs> and so we took Ryan and Molly to the airport. They just gone. I think their flight was 3.25. So they just flew. Um, we picked them up about half past ten, I think it was, 20 to 11, something like that, we picked them up. And Jack went, dropped them off in the quick drop-off. And do you know how much it was at East Midlands Airport? Oh my goodness me. I still keep going on about it. It says a pound for a drop-off, it's a minute, right? So you think a minute to pull in... And then the gap he had to stop and reverse into it because the gap, the drop off gap weren't that big. So he stopped, he dropped, dropped off. They then had to get out of the car. Then they had to put, get the cases out of the car. Then we said, see ya. And then the car in front had got these girls in it that only looked young, um, probably 18. Um, and they were like faffing and they, they were dancing about in front of the car. Then they got the suitcases and Jack went to pull out and she pulled a suitcase back. And it were like, I were like, move. <laughs> you know, we're like, come on, hurry up, move. Anyway, he pulled out. And then when we got to the barrier to get out, to get out of the airport, or to get out of the drop-off zone, quick drop-off, five pound, five quid to drop them off. I were like, oh my good God. You, honestly, East Midlands Airport, you must be making an absolute fortune. I mean, I know when we took them to Leeds, when they took uh, caught a plane from Leeds before, um, in that drop off one, it, there's like um, you get a token and you can drive round and and we we've never done the drop off. We always like go into you get a token out of machine and you drive round and it allows you to drop drop them off and then go, um, and then they walk down. But like goodness me, fiver! I was like all the way home. Jack's like mom, give it. <laughs> but you know what I'm like. And then he dropped off, then we dropped off at um, a retail park nearer to home. And he got me a, a jacket potato with prawns on and coleslaw. So that's my lunch and a coffee and a cookie. So, and then what else? Oh, then my mother-in-law rang. Um, can we, a year? And I said, yeah. I thought, well, she never comes to my house ever. Um, she's uh, my father-in-law had got me some bedding plants, he does every year. Uh, she says, we're going to drop them you off. So that's what I've spent this afternoon doing and I've just tried to get up off it so far. We're like, oh, oh, God, my back, my back is like spasmed and it was like, I couldn't get up for about 10 minutes. I've kept trying to get up, shooting pains, it's gone now. So I don't know whether it's because I've been bending over doing the pots. I've just done about 15 pots. Um, so yeah, so all the pots on the front are done now, all the pots on the back and all around the decking. And my father-in-law comes on tip back garden, he went, oh, this part, this side of garden is beautiful, it lawns nice, you've got your decking. I said, yeah. He said, and then this side, he said, this top bit here, he says, it's all rubbish, it needs moving. So I said, I know it does, Derek, yeah. And he said, why you got it done? I said, have you got a spare 140, 50 quid you don't want? I said, because I'll, I'll take it off your hands and I'll get him to move it. He said, chop it all down and take it tip tip. I said, hey, chop, chop it all down. He said, well, you're off work this week. I said, Jerry, I am and I've got no car. Jack's car's blew up, engine's gone, he's got no car, he's got mine. What do you want me to go tip tip with? Walk with it on my head. Um, so, and then he said, oh, and you're fencing, you need three new panels. I went, yeah, again, feel free. If you want to buy me three new panels, go ahead. I'm just like, for God's sake. I says, unfortunately, that tree there is not a money tree. It's a conifer. He said, yeah, speaking of conifers, it's too big, they want chopping down. I said, again, 300, 400 quid have you got per conifer to knock them down, cut them down. So he says, well, you could do that yourself. Get lads to... I says, are you having a laugh? I said, they are even house. I said, you can't, you need a team to come in. You need a firm. I was just like, I said, I'll oh, see you again in 10 years' time. I thought... Honestly, so that's been my day up to yet. Lucy's absolutely flat out. I finished my cardigan. Can you see? Got the Union Jack. 
on the sleeves um, and that's the back so it's got the red white and blue and it's got the Union Jack it's not to three months I've just put it on Etsy so we shall see um, what else have I got to say? I don't know. I don't know. Jack, uh, Ryan opened all his birthday presents this morning because it's his birthday on 28th. So he's opened all those. Uh, Jack flies on. He's going to Manchester Thursday night when Lissy's finished work and he's finished work. They're driving to Manchester to stop in the hotel in the airport. So, And then they fly Friday morning. So then it's me and dog and I'm back to work. But hey-ho. Right, don't forget to like and subscribe, it was just a quick catch up uh, and a moan, as always, it's me, what do you expect? Right, take care, see you soon, bye.